Okay, so in the first episode, I kind of just played through not really knowing what I was doing. It was the first time I had experienced the game, and I was just learning and seeing everything with fresh eyes. I have since played, um, I don't know, 10 to 20 hours of the game, just so I could really get a feel for it and understand what I'm supposed to be doing, what the purpose of the game is, how to, I guess, win the game. Um, I don't know if that's as fun as really just enjoying the experience of the game, just chilling and building your raft and floating around the ocean and and generally just having a relaxing time. If, if not for the uh, shark that's constantly attacking your raft. Uh, but my intention with this video or if there are any follow-on videos is just to explain how a new player might go about surviving and being able to continue to build your raft in this because it can be kind of tough to start off with. Um, it's, not, it's not extremely challenging, I think. What the fuck? Okay. So I haven't had as many glitches in this game. Um, however, as of the recording of this video, I don't know, new things are popping up, so I'll try to make it through this. The first thing um, I think is important to do is understand the crafting window. And definitely not miss any of these barrels. Always want to grab the barrels. Okay, so understanding the crafting menu, um, you've got, at the very top, you've got your food, where you're going to eventually, uh, well, really as soon as possible, make your cup, a purifier, and a grill. Additionally, we also have, under the tools, a building hammer, which is important to build right away. And then as soon as possible, you'll also want to build a wooden spear. All of these are generally easy to make, don't require a whole lot of supplies, um, and they're going to help you out, help you out early on. The building hammer... Uh, is going to be so that way we can add additions to our raft. And so if we uh, right click, we can go down to the bottom and we can repair our raft when the shark inevitably bites large chunks out of a raft so we can repair it versus having to spend a whole lot of materials to try to craft new chunks of the boat. Just to, just to move past kind of what we did, I, I, I've already built both of these in the first episode, um, so I'm just kind of skipping past it, but definitely want to get those built early on. Uh, to make water, all you're going to do is just scoop water uh, from the ocean. You're going to pour it in this little cup, but I've already done that. You're going to put some planks underneath, and that'll uh, boil the water. Then you've got fresh drinking water. And I guess the idea is that the uh, water boils from this cup, the steam rises into the palm leaf, collects down into this cup, and then you've got fresh drinkable water because uh, all of the salt remains in the cup after the uh, clean water has boiled off. So you drink that water and that's going to keep you alive for a while. And then next we have fish. Other than finding food in the barrels, um, the food that you're going to find is generally going to be fished out of the water. It's a pretty good way to survive for a long period of time. Um, I currently don't have any fish. Fishing is extremely simple. You toss your line out. It does not matter how far you toss it out. It has zero impact on the fish. Official bite, you left click, and you've got a fish. All right, so we want to go to our building hammer, repair, and I think 80% is okay with me. We'll take that fish we just caught, place them on the grill so we'll have something to eat here soon. All right, so right now we've noticed that uh, we got stuck here on this island because I don't have anything to steer with on my boat. We'll get there later. So for now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a paddle. And that should help us get unstuck. All right, so we've got a generally full belly, plenty of water, got a couple of fish on the side last us a little bit so we'll move on to the next part of our crafting and floating journey so one thing i hate is trying to do all of this in the dark day night cycle is pretty cool but it's a lot easier to see during the day so we want to be able to skip through whenever it's nighttime. Uh, to do that we're going to make a bed uh, so the only thing we're missing is nails we just need a few pieces of scrap 
We've already got some from the barrels, that's why it's important to collect those barrels. So we're just gonna click the plus here, make some nails, make a bed, plop that down. Let's see. All right, that's good enough. And we're just gonna fast forward through time. Going to sleep um, apparently just pauses the entire world because nothing moves while you're asleep. But now it's gonna be daytime and we're gonna be able to see a little bit easier. Um, going to sleep uh, and skipping to daylight does kind of lower your uh, thirst and hunger a little bit so you're gonna have to eat and drink it's usually good to have something on the grill for when you wake up and some water in the cup so you can just drink that and sort of sk skip past everything I cook a few pieces of fish have a little bit of breakfast and we're ready to go okay so our inventory is starting to fill up quickly um, we're also running out of not really running out of space on our raft, but it would be nice to have a little bit more space, uh, be able to organize things a little bit better, because we're starting to collect a lot more materials. Um, and we don't have a lot of different things that we can really craft right now. Um, so a few things that we're going to want to work on here. So we're going to learn how to craft new items with our research table. God we're going to learn how to craft new items with the research table. We're going to make a storage box to store all of our extra goodies and help organize things a little bit too. And a sail is nice because we can sort of change the direction of where our ship goes. We might be able to steer ourselves towards a nice island where we can dock, gather some supplies, chill out for a bit. And with the sail we can also sort of steer ourselves into bigger piles of loot like that. So I think we'll start off with our sail. Got just enough materials to do that. Put that right there. Plop her down. And we'll start steering our way to success. Alright, so we've got some extra materials. We're going to go ahead and make a research table. Um, that's going to allow us to start crafting some things that will really help us get a lot further in the game. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, so we'll just place her... Eh, that's, that's a good a spot as any. The great thing about the sail is that you can steer yourself towards an island that you see, and you can generally sort of push your boat into the island. It'll dock it there for a little bit, and you don't have to make an anchor that's going to hold your ship in place. Um, it, it can sometimes keep you there for a little bit, at least long enough to just sort of run around, grab some materials, and grab some food. Um, and then jump back on your boat. You can change the direction of your sail and head back out to sea. <clears throat> Doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that this time, but there will be more islands. There's plenty of islands to come across. All right, so one of the things that I would like to get done as early as possible is a collection net. So we're actually going to need to go to the research table to do this. I'm going to open this up here. Now, if we want to research something, we need to place these different items inside of this slot. We'll research that item, and then it's going to show us what recipes we can make with that item, and it'll unlock new recipes for us. So we'll need a plank, a rope, and a nail. Um, so first thing we'll do, just put a plank, a rope, We'll craft some nails. Alright, so we're going to take these different items. It's only going to use one. Now, everything that can be made with wood planks is going to pop up in the research table. Do the same thing for rope. And the same thing for nails. And we'll scroll back to the top. <coughs> And we've actually unlocked a couple different recipes here. So we've got some trophy boards. And this costs us nothing to learn them once we've unlocked them. And a collection net. 
All right, so a collection net takes a lot of resources to build, but it will always passively gather resources for you, and it sort of quickly um, helps save you a lot of time. One thing we're going to need is a lot of rope. Alright, so we'll need eight pieces of rope, two nails, and a bunch of planks. It's only for one net. And we're going to place it up front. Now if our shark bites it, it really sucks. So hopefully he doesn't bite that area. We can always repair it if he does. But if he destroys it, we've got to build a brand new one. <clears throat> so anytime supplies pass through that net, it's automatically going to collect it for us. And as we get more nets, we'll start getting a return on our investment pretty quickly. And it works for everything. It works for barrels, and it's just got to barely touch it. All right, so because we're not going to be able to hold our ship still here, we're going to build ourselves an anchor. So that way we can check out this island and see what materials we can get from it. So once you craft an anchor, all you're going to do is place it on your ship. You just need to pick it up and toss it overboard. It's a one-time use. And the great part about being docked is that while you're away from your ship, the shark will not mess with the ship. And you can run around the island and you can find some flowers that's good for making dye, changing the color of your boat, but otherwise nothing very useful comes of that. Um, oftentimes you'll find uh, fruit in the trees. I need to build an axe. So we'll get planks, palm leaves, and fruit from the trees, as well as seeds so we can plant our own trees on our ship a little bit later on in the game. And sometimes on these islands we'll also find crates. These will have a lot of different items inside of them, a lot of which I couldn't pick up. But we also got a recipe for fish stew. So we don't I don't know if we need the recipe to actually make the fish stew, but it does help to see what goes in it. We'll put it up on a little board later on. I also found a bolt, which is going to be hard to make early on, um, but it's good to have. And the moment I come back, he wants to take a bite out of the boat. It's about, it's about the norm. We'll come back later, but we don't have to worry about him for a minute. <clears throat> so we'll start taking some of the generic crafting supplies, putting them in the boat, putting them in the storage bin. I won't be using him for a while. I don't really need any watermelon seeds. I won't need them anytime soon. Now we have a dead shark. So as he attacks your ship and or your raft and uh, you consistently do more damage to him, you'll notice that his body starts getting scars. And as that happens, you know it's him taking more damage. And you can kind of see him progressively getting worse. And once he finally does die, you'll get a couple pieces of shark and a shark head. Just a little hat to wear. You're going to get a lot of those later on. I don't feel like charting it around right now. And once he's dead, you pretty much have free reign over the reef. You can go and look for materials, um, harvest everything that you can because he's going to take a while to respawn. So you've got a lot of free time to go around, gather materials. But for now, I think we're done with the island, and we're going to pick up our anchor, and we're going to move on. What we want to do is craft more of these nets, so we've got basically a passive source of income. So for now, I think that's all. We kind of talked about a few new things today, uh, building our sail so we can direct our ship to where we want to go. We then built our bed so we could skip through the night, and we could see better during the day. We talked about fishing to get ourselves a fresh supply of food. 
Uh, we also went over the crafting desk here, or the research table, so that way we could learn how to make new things. The first one being this uh, net, so we can gather some items as we sail along with really zero effort. Um, and as we get more of those nets, it's really going to make life a lot easier for us. So what we'll do is we'll come back later, uh, once I've sort of built a little more to the ship, have some time to gather some supplies, and you can do the same thing. And we'll talk about what's next from there.